What's up everybody? Welcome to Third Generation Fitness. I'm Carl Steen, a devoted husband and father, but first and foremost, I'm devoted to God. I'm an ordained elder, a sports performance coach, and a personal trainer. And I help men and women elevate in their health and fitness to be the best version of themselves. I help athletes, young athletes, elevate in their sports. And you know, I love my job, I love what I do, um, and, and God has really blessed me in the avenue that I am in. But I once was skinny. I once wanted that big chiseled body with no mobility, walking around like this. <laughs> I once wanted that. And uh, I, I remember back in college, you know, I, I thought I was buff. You know, I thought I had enough strength. But when I got out of college, Oh, I would soon be reminded that no, I did it. I, I saw a picture of myself on a beach and although I thought I was buff when I was at the beach, sagging my pants, thinking I'm something, I noticed that I had a bird chest. No definition in my body. I, I was a struggle, a struggle bus galore. But if you want to see that picture, look to my right, your left. <laughs> um, and I'm going to show you a picture of what I look like now. Okay, now that we've gotten that out the way and that you see that I've elevated uh, beyond my own imagination, now I can tell you a little bit how I did it in the process and I, because I'm sure you want to know. Um, if you're on this channel and you're looking, you're looking to elevate your game, you're looking to elevate in your fitness, you're looking to elevate in your discipline and your consistency and your, your mental mindset. Uh, this, it's all a mindset. If you can get your mind to stay with a goal, then not only then will you elevate to new levels. But anyways, that's beside the fact. Now, when I, when I was focusing on getting bigger, getting stronger, uh, thinking that I wanted to build muscle, yeah, I got a little bit of gains. I was working about I working out every single day, but I was not focusing on my structure of my workout. I was not focusing on my nutrition and how I was supposed to eat. I was not focusing on, on my mindset, but that slowly would change as I went down along the line. Now, um, you know, fast forward, Maybe five years later, I'm married. 2016 is where I married my beautiful wife, and that changed the the whole uh, the whole aspect of my life. And bringing another person in, it it helped me learn how to not be so selfish and like into myself. Now this is where it caused me to learn how to learn. I didn't know how to learn. I didn't want to hear how I needed to do this. I didn't want to hear how I needed to do that back in the day. But slowly, you know, my wife, she started implementing great nutrition for us uh, and becoming a vegetarian. And that's when I became vegetarian. I was vegetarian for three years, uh, hardcore. And I just loved the lifestyle, but that's when I really saw my body change. I became a personal trainer when I turned the mere age of 28. I know I'm a young man, you know, and I look about 21, you know what I'm saying? I turned 28, that's when I made a decision to walk out on faith and quit my day job and become a personal trainer. But that's when the structure came along. That's when I learned how to follow a plan. And I change my plan every month, every month. And you know, when I started doing that, I started seeing the changes in my body that I wanted to see. I started seeing this muscle pop out, that muscle pop out, the veins, the different things that the vascularity that we all desire of having and my dream body started to come along. I started getting that dream strength dreamed about and, and uh, my mindset started to go to another level because I started listening to more podcasts and reading more. I ain't never Never used to read when I was younger. Man, you would never catch me in a book. You would never catch me listening to something that's gonna help me get better. Oh yeah, I was just watching stuff that was harming me, harming me mentally and bringing me down. But surely, glory to God, he who findeth a wife findeth a good thing. And she helped me uh, in many avenues and pushed me 
to this level where I am now. Uh, not saying that you can't get there without having your wife, but a wife surely helps. She is a help me to me, but surely I'm here to guide you if you're not married. I'm here to guide you if, if, you, if your wife doesn't really motivate you to go that way. Uh, certainly because we are the heads of the household. We have to have the mindset uh, in order to be an example to those who are around you and in your circle. Now, uh, it's, it's very important to, that you realize what I said. It's about structure. It's about discipline. It's about consistency. It's about knowing what's going to happen before it even happens. Now, I'm not talking about circumstances that are going through your day, but you need to have a plan. You need to have a well thought out plan on what's going to happen that next day. Are you going to wake up in the morning and journal? Are you going to wake up in the morning and pray? Are you going to, uh, after that, are you going to go work out before work, uh, doing different things of that nature? What time are you going to eat your meals? Uh, it's all important and you have to encompass these things as you are trying to reach that transformation uh, that you just so desire. A transformation journey is truly a journey and it does not happen overnight. If anybody tries to make you think that, it does not. It takes time, it takes patience, it takes a mindset that is above your own self. You have to put self aside and let God lead the way. And it's super important to realize what has to go forth into this journey, what it's gonna entail, what you're going to have to eat, what workouts you're going to have to do. And if you can have somebody else help you as far as accountability so you don't have to think so much so you don't have to be in your head so much so so they can help you along the way for you to gain the confidence that you need to in the gym that you can gain the confidence that you need to in meal prep so that you can gain the confidence that you need to in building a, a relationship with god uh so you can build upon all the many facets of a transformation journey. I'm talking about transforming the whole self, holistically, uh, mind, body, and spirit, because God is truly gonna lead you in the way that, you, that he desires and gonna put you in the positions that you need to be in, but you also have to put the work in yourself and know that it's not gonna be easy and that circumstances will arise and that struggles may come. But it's super important to realize all of these things. Now, I just told you it's not going to be easy. It's not going to be easy. And this is why I created Third Generation Fitness. So I can help. So I can help someone go to another level. So I can help people reach their potential and see that it's more to themselves than just sitting on a couch eating potato chips. There's more to themselves than just going to Dairy Queen after Sunday service. That is more to themselves than, than just sitting on a couch not doing nothing and not playing with their kids. It's super important that you have a holistic view of life and that you wanna be present, that you wanna be present not stagnant or complacent, but understanding what it needs to entail. But I thank you all for listening. I thank you, Lord. I, I said I thank you, Lord, but I, I thank the Lord for this opportunity to help you all. I'm glad and I'm happy for those who are along, along on the journey. Uh, if you would just hit that subscribe button, share button, comment. Uh, what your goals are, comment what, where you're trying to get to, uh, what kind of body you're trying to see yourself in, where you're trying to see the most definition, different things of that nature. Um, the holistic realm, if you want to build a relationship with God, um, get better nutrition, you know, comment those things. And I'm looking forward to building this channel. I'm looking forward to seeing greater things in you and uh, going to new levels together. If we work in one accord, we will exceed expectations. Where two or three are gathered in my name, he is here, he is present. And he said he wants us to work together in accordance and in unity. So if we can work in unity, we can all excel in the right way. Glory to God. You all be blessed and have a great day.